Uh, George Beach from Crowley Muay Thai. Credit to John Jarvis and his camp. They've really bought uh, a solid team of fighters to compete this far up north. Yeah, they have. I mean, uh, 73 kilos this fight. It's an A-class fight as well, so elbows, knees, punches, kicks. A good one to finish the night off with. Yeah. Conor McCormick, uh, Petchnoy Jim. This is a, this is a pretty good fighter. He's got a nice old school track. One you and me will remember. Yeah, I'm gonna knock you out, LL Cool yeah. <laughs> Bold statement. Let's see if he lives up to it. You've seen him fight before. Um, I think I've seen him fight before, but I've been, I didn't know. But he's supposedly knocked out Tim Thomas. Well, Tim TNT wow. Thomas. Uh, so that's a. A big scalp on your record when you've done something it like is. that. There's two southern fighters, uh, George Beach, Crowley, Conor McCormick from Pechnoy in Northampton. Yeah, and it's five rounds, five three-minute rounds under full Muay Thai rules as well. Credit to the matchmaking on this show from start to finish. We've had good bouts. We didn't think you could top Gillian Corbett's fantastic performance. But straight yeah. after that, we've seen a succession of really good quality performances yeah. by both winners and losers. Yeah, the, I mean, the fights have just got better and better as the show's progressed. I think the ladies have stood out tonight as well in their yeah, fights. Gillian and particularly Jeanette Warnes with that fantastic performance yeah. and that beautiful need to finish the fight. But this is it, the final fight for tonight. A-class, 73 kilos, five three-minute rounds, full Muay Thai rules. Red corner, George Beach, Crowley Muay Thai, John Jarvis in his corner, Conor McCormick, Pechnoy with Scott Robinson from Northampton in the blue corner. Feeling each other out. These long jabs and teeth to the legs. Connor seems to have a little bit of a height advantage. Good team there nice from, from Connor. I like that little broken rhythm uh, leg kick that George threw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. first elbow that we've seen. Yeah, nothing happening in the clinch there, jump up, splitting him up.
neither fighter getting particular dominance in the clinch. Yeah, they're, they're throwing nice shots on each other. But oh, nice straight right there by George. So both throwing nice shots on each other, but just staying relaxed at the same time. Again with the elbow, George came in there. Good body kick there from George. S snuck in under the guard and it yeah. sunk into the ribs. Overhand oh. right there by Connor that connected. <laughs> Jumping tee. It's like a bit of a a chess match at the moment. It is. Just testing each other out. No disrespect to the fighters on the uh, earlier part of the card, but you can just see the class of these two yeah. young men in the very composed and tactical way that they're engaging yeah. with one another. It just shows you that difference in class when you're moving up from uh, the lower ones to, to, to A class. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? You, you get the, the, the novice fighters, they go crazy. And you think it get faster as you get better, but it doesn't get slower. The, the more, the more reserved in the, in the things that they're doing, they're, they're not they're not rushing into things, just taking the time. As I said, a credit to the matchmaker, well done to to Hamdi Karim uh, for putting on a succession of really good bouts. Yeah, he's done a really good, fine job. Uh, it's his first show here in, in Sheffield, so I'm sure he's not many more to come. You know, and it's good to see that there's an appetite for a show that has nothing other than Muay Thai bouts on. Yeah, and, and, and also one good thing about it here is um, the crowd's been very good. They've all been respectful. There's no, there's been nobody booing. I do go to some shows and yep. people start booing it. It just spoil it. Uh, there's been nobody booing at all here. Expect to see uh, an increase in the tempo of the fight now. Yeah, going into round it, two. We will. Both fighters had their moments in that first round. Both went for the elbows. Here we go, round two. So so good about fighters at this stand as well. It's not just their attacking; it's uh, the defensive uh, skills as well. Absolutely, Phil. Each fighter seems to know what to do to, to nullify yeah, the, the clinch when yeah, the other fighter gets a dominant yeah, position. They've both been doing the same thing. I've noticed that these first, first uh, couple of rounds. Connor does like to come in with that spear elbow though. He smiles upon getting that body kick from Beach. Oh, good head kick there from Connor.
And again, they just normally find that clinch. Kind of tied his man up there. Yeah, it's, it's like they both get to a clinch, then they don't want to clinch. <laughs> oh, spinning elbow. Oh, yeah. By George Beach there. My little lads in the audience, they love that. Yeah. It's forever getting those on me as I walk through the house. <laughs> Again, as you said, Phil, they're really stepping up the tempo for this round. Yeah. Oh, lovely Again elbow. Again, with that yeah. elbow from Connor. And if you notice as well in, the, in this this bout compared to a lot of the other ones, there's more kicks to the body now. There's not so many fewer low kicks, kicks to the legs. Yeah, yeah, fewer kicks to the legs. I mean, it's something you and I have noticed in the past when we've been working together, where yeah. you've got fighters coming in from, say, a K1 background and competing in Thai and and just falling foul because. They don't realise what's going to score. No, they don't. It? It's hard. It's hard adjusting to to right scoring criteria for for whatever rules you're fighting under. <laughs> Although having said that, I think there'll be a fair few number of people in this crowd who are a little confused with that James Pierce result. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it is confusing at times. I actually have been on a few uh, judging courses uh, in the past, and uh, to be honest, the, the ones that are hardest to, to score, fight-wise, uh, is the novice fights. They're harder to score than the, the more experienced fighters. What they do is more obvious, and the, the novice fights are a lot harder to score. Well, I've noticed you and I are speaking far less during this fight, because I think it's... Yeah, just mesmerised. We're mesmerised, We're mesmerised, we're mesmerised right. by the fight. Each fighter's going up through the gears, he's being matched by the other one. Yeah. This might be the round where we see one of the fighters starting to pull ahead. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said before, I mean, these, these two guys are experienced as well, so they, they know this is the, the third round, and it's where they're going to start stepping things up. Both of them happy, smiling in the corners. Yeah. You think they were out on a night out, not trying to... <laughs> Pummel each other. Nice little lay back there from Connor yes. to evade that head kick. Slick. That doesn't mean George Beach is any kind of slouch. Yeah. Very good footwork. As you said, really good defensive skills displayed by both fighters. Yeah, I mean, John Pop's now trying to push both fighters. It's time to keep going, keep going. Well, the exchanges seem to be going for a little bit longer compared to the previous two rounds. But again, it's like you said, Phil, it's like clinch, but not wanting to clinch. Yeah, they're not, it's like they're not wanting to, yeah. I think that's why when they, they've been in the clinch just earlier on, uh, John Pop was telling him to come on, fight, fight, because they get into a clinch then sort of nullifying each other. Oh. There's a little bit of marking, I think, on the... Underside of George Peach's left eye. Yeah, I, you know, I think that's from the previous round because I, I saw in the previous round that it he, he, he looked like his, his left side was a bit swollen around his eye and I wasn't sure, but now, now you've mentioned it, it it's uh, more obvious now. Connor's, oh, jumping Ooh. elbow by George Peach. Well, they're responding to the direction of the referee. They've certainly upped the tempo in this round. Yeah. Oh, oh big elbows now. Slice down with that elbow with Connor. 
trying to go for the trip there. Connor takes those two steps and, and dumps his opponent on the canvas. George able to prevent himself from being taken down that time. Oh, Connor there with a spinning elbow. Oh, beautiful there. George caught his body kick, yes. used his body to talk him, and then sent his own body kick to meet him. It's really good to watch this fight. It's like you said, you almost don't want to speak, Phil, because no. it is a fantastic bout. George sneaks through a straight right. Oh, a nice oh, elbow then from, from Connor. Connor. Right onto that side it's of... Uh, bleeding as well, I think. Uh, I think the back of the head. Oh, yeah. it's, from, uh, it's from George, look. His eyes cut now. That's that elbow. Yeah. Wow, well, so that was a big elbow earlier. And also, it, it was swollen as well. It was, was it was. About. I think it's underneath the eye where it's cut as yeah. well. Yeah. Two rounds left. I think in Thailand that would be just considered a scratch. Other than the visible injury, I think George's matched Connor in terms of st speed and tempo. Yeah. These next two rounds are going to be really telling. But that cut's not going to help. No, it George. isn't. It's going to spur uh, it's going to spur Connor on. It depends on how much they can do to stop the bleeding and uh, uh, cover that cut up in this round. Well, we know what Connor's going to be targeting. Yeah. It's just hard to see from this point whether it's... I think it's I think it's above the swelling. I think it's close to the eyebrow. It's not yeah. underneath. Obviously, if it was underneath, it would be less of a problem because it wouldn't be obscuring his vision. If he's got the blood trickling down into his eye. Yeah, it looks like it's... It's, it's, the, it's above, but it's to the side. So where it is, it may just get on the side of his face, just missing his eye. I think you're right, Phil. Well, of course the cut, and, he's, and I, I'm sure that Connor's going to be working on that cut now. So to try and make open Well, credit to him. George is into the centre of the ring first. Yeah. He's smiling. <laughs> so we go for round four. It's going to really pick up now. Yeah, see now if Connor moves in close and tries to work on that cut or not. Nice Ooh. lead leg head kick by Connor. Again yeah, with the elbow, again. and that's immediately cut him on the opposite side. I think, has he come on the opposite side? Yeah, it has. Of, top of his head. Right elbow to the right hand side of George wow. Beecher's head. Oh, it's, where is it? it? Yeah, it's on the top. It's on the top of his head. I think Connor was the first of the two to actually throw an elbow during this fight. Yeah. And he's just built on the tempo. They've not they've got the doctor in the corner having a look. Yeah, it's on the top of it's his on head the look. forehead. So now they're carrying on. Oh the finish it's, it's been stopped. A uh, wise decision, I think. Yeah, it's a wise decision, yeah. Nothing I mean, can be taken away from George Beach, a fantastic fighter. We're really Still smiling. Fight. But you, you've you got to look after your fighters, particularly yeah. when they're as talented as these two. I mean, it's great, a great match to watch. Both had tremendous skills. The defensive work was brilliant. But all the credit to Connor McCormick for a very slick efficient 
and stylish performance. And being the final fight, you can't really ask for much more no, as, a, no. as a sterling example of what Muay Thai is. Fantastic performance by both young men. But a big well done to Conor McCormick. Yeah, a fine win. Well, Darren Castle down the MC for tonight. Wincing, going if you can make a former British champion wins. It's got to be a serious injury. And respect to George's corner for taking the, the brave decision. Because if it was left to the fighter, he'd carry on. Yeah, you do. I mean, um, when you're in that ring, that's why it always pays to have a good trainer, a good corner, man. To protect fighters from themselves, yeah, from their own courage. To, yeah. A fantastic demonstration of sportsmanship again from two very, very skillful Nakamoye. <laughs> 